How's it going guys? Jory here, Canadian Circuits, and I'm just bringing you a quick video because I wanted to share something I found at a thrift store. <clears throat> I believe it was, uh, not Goodwill, it was Talese, I believe. I think the price tag is still on the back. Yep, there it is. It was $9.99 Canadian at Talese. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love weird odd wear tech stuff like this and this is a keyboard if you haven't guessed by the size of the box and it is a old school keyboard Get you guys a better view it is the light on sk 6000 magic touch uh, i could find almost nothing about this keyboard whatsoever um I could find out it was made by Light On. It was called a Magic Touch. Most of them had PS2 connectors. This one doesn't. It has five pinned in. And most of them didn't have that uh, mouse trackpad there on the right hand side. Um, I have no idea what it was worth because I could not find any comparable comps on eBay or Amazon. The closest thing I found to it for sale was the one without the trackpad and it was ringing anywhere from $40 to $50. Um, I probably did not buy this to resell it. We'll see how it goes. I think this will be the next edition for the old uh, Windows 95 98 vintage XP build, or XP, vintage uh, PC build. Basically, I have a graphics card and motherboard for it and now a keyboard. I've just been kind of waiting, thrifting parts, finding them online and used when I can because I want to build it for cheap. Uh, if you guys haven't looked up some old school Windows 98 PC parts, they've really gone up in value. So the other reason I got this thing, well one, because it's so unique, you can see the size of it. Um, and two, obviously that's cool. The only scuff is right there, that little black mark, which I am almost positive that will just, it looks like pencil. Look at that, just a lick of the finger and she's coming off. So a little magic eraser will clean that off. Um, apparently it has mouse pass through. So if you don't want to use the trackpad, you can hit the mouse button, which is right there. And it will just be basically a pass through. Uh, connectors, if I turn it over, this is the other thing that I thought was really cool that made me like this thing. So you have your um, five pinned in. It'll probably never focus on it because it's super small, but there it is. Five pinned in, obviously, because there's five little pins in there. It's the big, thick cord. It looks like a fat PS2 plug, kind of. And then a uh, game connection. That's what this is usually. It's for a joystick uh, or whatever. Certain mouses will even use this. I'm not sure, actually, guys, if a mouse is supposed to go into this or if you can use it for a joystick US or a joystick or a control stick, anything like that. But if it is a mouse or control stick, that would go into your PC. And then you have a um, mail port on the back there that you could plug in your joystick or mouse. I would assume mouse would pass through. Then there's also a switch on the back for external mouse or touchpad. Uh, and then it's got your nice, really heavy duty actually with a snap standoffs. Um, it's got a hell of a large palm rest on it as you can see but it is in such clean shape it's a little bit for you guys it is in such clean shape that i could not pass it up um it's a little funky probably trying to type on a keyboard with the kind of angles for the keys but maybe it's not that bad we'll see how it is for gaming and then the other big reason i grabbed this and i thought it was ten dollars was a steal because when you're building anything old like an old xp 98 95 pc sometimes it's really hard to find the software and drivers for certain peripherals or uh graphics cards sound cards whatever it may be but this and i don't think this is ever used for how clean it is but we got our uh touchpad driver and utility version 2.31 floppy disk a touchpad user guide uh yeah touchpad guide keyboard guide i don't know why they couldn't just put it in one and a notice at 
this time Windows 3.1 or higher is fully supported using the touchpad driver. In Windows 95, the pointer setting for point growth and pointer trails are disabled when using the touchpad driver. So that's kind of cool. And then like the manuals on, you know, working the, the touchpad. And uh, manual on working the keyboard. So very cool very unique if you guys have seen or ever used one of these before let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it because i have no idea what to expect with this thing if i can find a five pin to usb converter i don't even know if they make one last time i did it it was a five pin to a ps2 converter and then a ps2 to a usb converter then the usb went into the into the uh i think it was a windows 7 pc and it wasn't fully functional but it let me kind of test out the keys and stuff just to make sure it was working um so if i can test it that way then expect a full review and test of how well this thing performs if not then when i finally uh get all the parts for that windows 98 build or 95 depending on what os i go with probably 98 um you will see everything set up built and reviewed in there with actual original windows gameplay all right guys, that does it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was just a quick, sweet video showing you this kind of cool looking weird light on uh, SK6000 Magic Touch Keyboard. Made in Pi 1, I'm now reading on the back. Um, <laughs> improper prolonged keyboard use may result in injury. Yep, get some carpal tunnel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like it, you know what to do. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I release a new video. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you heard a humming noise in the background, sorry. It's Canada. It's winter. It's cold here. I got the heaters on. And I don't want to be cold while making a video. Anyways, see you in the next one, guys. I'm Jory with Canadian Circuits. And have a good night.